Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly Top Five show in snowboarding. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the Top Five Workhorse Bindings of 2020 2021. That's right. These are your kind of do everything, jack of all trade bindings that get the job done in any type of conditions. So let's dive right into it. Number five, the K2 formula. This workhorse binding can do everything from the peak to the park and the pow and everything in between. You want to go out and charge with it? You can. You're going to be a little more laid back, chase the kids around? Do it. Spending the day in the park with the boys? It's got you covered. It's got a couple cool features to it, like the hinge to get the heel strap out of the way. That toe strap fits just about over any type of boot shape. The only downside with this binding is you're limited to a canted binding. So if you don't like canting, you're probably not gonna like these because you don't have the option to not have it. Number four, the Ride C8. Not the A8, the C8. That means it's composite in there. New for this year, Ride overhauled the binding, but you get flip straps, so you can go soft or stiff based on that. The toe strap is a little different, fits certain boot shapes better than others, but if you're old school or you don't know what the hell you're doing, you can still rock it over the top. It does have an adjustable heel cup in there, and it's got a revamped high back. Basically, this binding replaces the EX, which has been one of Ride's workhorse bindings. Number three, the Burton Cartel. Do I really need to say anything more about this? I mean, it's been in their line for what, like 75 years at this point? It's seriously the quintessential Burton do-everything binding. Don't know what binding to get? Cartel. Gonna go out and ride Pow Cartel. Gonna go ride Park Cartel. Gonna go ride a Groomer Cartel. Get the point? Cartel, cartel, cartel. That's that's really all you need to know about this binding. It's there, it does just about everything perfectly well, and it's their workhorse. Number two, the Nitro Team. Now a lot of you are probably saying, wait, Nitro actually makes bindings? Yes, they do, and they make exceptionally well-riding bindings. What I really like about this binding is that airbag heel pocket in there for dampening. That is possibly one of the best features in any binding out there. So if you end up getting heel bruises or you're worried about chatter and you need something that with dampening, check out the Nitro Team because that heel air pocket is absolutely amazing. Otherwise, what's great about this binding? The toe strap grips well on just about any boot shape. The heel strap contours perfectly, keeps you locked in. You can adjust the heel cup on it if you need to. It's got mini discs, so you still get that lateral play in there. It's just a good all-around binding, and it does its job exceptionally well. Honorable mentions. These are all great bindings, but they just barely didn't make it on this list. The Bent Metal Transfer. The Now Select. As I said, all great bindings, but just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one workhorse binding for 2020-2021 is the Rome Vice. I don't know if Rome knew this when they overhauled the binding this year, but they essentially made it a $100 cheaper katana. Seriously, you can save 100 bucks and basically get a binding that's like the old katana. It's got the ASIM heel cup, so you got that cut out on the side for a little more lateral flex, but it still gives you that power and drive you want, toe to heel, and you can really just push into this bind if you need to. Heel strap's great, the toe strap grips just about any boot shape out there. Actually can't praise this binding enough, so go check it out. It's the number one workhorse. You know you want to. Plus, you save 100 bucks versus over buying a katana. Or if you're really bougie and you would have bought the black label, you save even more by getting the vice. This has been my top five workhorse bindings of 2020-2021. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own some? Are you going to buy some? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and just help us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.